Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, um, simply check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Let's begin. So Aries, hmm. something you've been putting off for a while. I feel like you um, may feel feel like taking action on it now or during this time period. It could also be uh, that something you've been putting off, it could be um, uh, like the hand is forced. It feels like something is culminating. There's a lot of tension and this is because of something you learned you learned something about your partner either through an action or it's like they let something slip. And based on your experience, you have a card of experience here, based on your experience from the past, which is indicated here, um, you become very suspicious that somebody is pretending, that somebody could be lying. Now, I mean, for some of you, it could be that there's a lack of intimacy between you and this person that could make you suspicious. Um, what I see is you're having a lot of negative thoughts uh, um, having to do with your partner and having to do with the situation and there's, there's this feeling that that partner is wearing two faces, that they're not being truthful with the false halo here. It looks like you, uh, it's, you're looking through this book, you're looking through all this information. So this would be information I feel that you have, um, this knowledge that you have from the past or past experiences uh, with this person or just past experiences in general, um, you will be using them as you should uh, here in this situation. Something doesn't feel right, okay? Look at this. You got the relationship card that's underneath it. And this is somebody who's bored in a relationship and they are looking elsewhere. So you, there could have been cheating in the past uh, or suspicions of, and this could be on your mind once again. There's no intimacy here. So, you know, maybe they're getting it elsewhere. I mean, you know, this is what you're thinking and this there's a certain, uh, a feeling that, because it's within the knowledge that you have, what I feel, uh, that they may have cheated before. You either know this for certain, or you suspect that it did happen in the past, okay? And so you're looking back to the past to know how to handle this change that is currently happening. Some news that um, it's like you're sitting on this powder keg. That's, that's what they show me. You're sitting on the tower. Some news that came in and it's possible that it triggers a wounded place in you from the past. Um, you will need to make a decision for the future. This could be something that uh, is decided between you two in the future also. Um, you have a theory or an idea about... Uh, about what is going on 
with this person, what they're up to, what they're hiding, what they're lying about. You have an idea. Um, you may feel that what you thought was real uh, or what you were hoping was real in the past was not. So um, if you thought you could get this back on its feet because there clearly were issues in the past, you may now be thinking that maybe you were wrong that this person has been pretending and lying and creating an illusion that all is okay when it's not. Something here is learned. And uh, with that, I feel like you want to get to the truth. You need to know the truth. You deserve to know the truth. You, you've been wounded in the past and uh, although those swords fell out a long time ago the three swords you see they've fallen it's still raining it's still pouring rain it's still uh, gray cloudy the the wound is 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 bleeding once again uh, I feel with this news you've received there's the news so, I mean, it could have been uh, news that something you saw, something they said or something they did that suddenly made you believe they were lying or suspect that they were lying. And so what you're going to do, it's like you get this idea because there's the idea there. And this is fire. So this is definitely you. You get this idea um, about uh, how to handle uh, this situation or how to handle the situation of getting to the truth or exposing the truth and you are thinking of testing it out that's what this is about you're thinking of testing this theory of yours out uh, you may have been uh, given or shown a way because this can be there can be divine in, uh, intervention here or uh, you've been divinely guided here or are being divinely guided so you would have been shown a way out uh, of a situation or a path to the truth um, you uh, you may be trying to uh, guard what you have, so you may you may need to approach this very carefully, um, because maybe you have a lot to lose here financially, because this is coins and they're they're hugging their their chest of coins and jewels and everything to them here. And so you might fear that by confronting this person like that, uh, there you, you're not going to get what you want if you verbally confront them. So you need to take a different approach to the problem that would expose the truth. Because they, if you confront them, they're only going to deny it. They're going to deny it. So if you want the truth, that would not be the way. You will take a different approach to get your truth. 
And you know this already based on experience because you've confronted this person before and that didn't really get you anything. And so it's like uh, you reach that point, especially with the world here. This is uh, something that's culminating. You have the tower here. It's like uh, you reach that point that, okay, um, you know, I, I can't live like this or continue to live like this. Change needs to happen. And I, I, I need the truth. And you know that the decision you've taken may sting, but um, but you're going to you're going to persevere. You're going to get the truth. You're going to find out what exactly this person is hiding from you. Um, you're going to find out what exactly is this uh, unseen threat or your suspicions. You're going to find out the truth. You're going to find out what this person has been hiding from you. And you, yeah, see it, it's been culminating again. We have the world. You will be looking back. You may be looking at something in particular that they said or did. You're going to play your cards close to your chest. You are not going to confront this person because you know you won't get any information that way. So you're going to take a new, fresh approach to this problem. And that is what that Six of Swords is saying. Yeah. And so um, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Um, also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.